So, a couple of days ago, I decided that it would be a good idea to make a video reading Kindle Unlimited books for a week because my Kindle Unlimited subscription is ending. And I think at this point, exactly a week. It ends on the 19th, which, yes, is a week from today. It's Friday the 12th. And I started planning to do this on Monday. And I was super excited because I saw they had just recently added Alice Feeney's latest book. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. And I started it at work. I got like 15, 20 pages into it and I was like, I can't wait to get home and read the rest of this. And when I got home, my Kindle looked like this. It just constantly looks like this can't can't read a book like this can't can't do anything so luckily I was able to get in contact with the customer service of Amazon because this was still under like the year warranty and they just sent me a replacement so that's still the plan for today, is to start reading some of the books I have on Kindle Unlimited and try to get through as many as I can before my subscription ends. So unfortunately, a bit of a delayed start. I am going to have to add everything I had on my Kindle onto this one and switch it out. So that's our, our intro, our update. So much happened in the making of this before even hitting record so it just just arrived so I got a little work to do before we can officially officially start but that's what we're in for today I had a bunch of random stuff saved I have a lot of like fantasy series on there I have some kind of mystery books I think some literary fiction I'll let you know I'll let you know once I re-download everything what what we have in store but for sure, the Alice Feeney book, I can't remember. It is a Monday evening and I haven't made an update in a while because things didn't really go to like the plan that I had. So when I was going into this, I was like, okay, I want to read the Alice Feeney book first. Then I was like, I'm going to read Spark of the Everflame because I've heard, I've heard a lot about this at this point and I was like, I'm going to read book one, then I want to read Town by Frederick something and that was my plan my plan read book one spark of the ever flame move on to Bear Town. great plan did not go that way 
I read book one of Spark of the Everflame. I was obsessed. I had to read book two, which then meant I had to read book three. And book three was a thousand and like 26 pages. It was so long. I ate it up though. I was like flying through these. I started it I started Spark of the Everflame after finishing Alice Fanny's book, Good Bad Girl. Uh, I started it um, Friday night after finishing that, and I just, just finished book three of Spark the Everflame. It's the final book in the series will be book four, Death of the Everflame, I think it's called, and that one comes out in like two weeks, which is like very unfortunate because the whole point of this video is I might get a little limited to sending, but I'll just have to either renew it, wait till I renew it again, or just buy the book. Um, but the <laughs> series is really great. Uh, this series, man, so much happened in such a short period of time for me. I couldn't put it down. I wanted to keep reading it, which I haven't really, really connected with a good fantasy series in a while, so it was really nice to read again. But... It follows our main character, Dima, and she lives in Lumos, which is one of like the seven realms in her world. And the seven realms have people called Descended and the Mortals. And in her realm in Lumos, the Descended and the Mortals are like very, very spread apart. There's a lot of discrimination between the two groups, the Descended. Um, who are people who have power and the power in Lumos is light and shadows. They live very well off. The king of Lumos is a descended and the poor mortals, they're not doing quite as well. And our main girl is a healer. She is a mortal. She lives in the mortal realm and her mother is an interesting figure and she has gone missing. And she ends up kind of like taking her place as a healer in the palace, which is something she was quite sheltered from because of her mother. Her mother never wanted her interacting with the descended. Uh, and with her mother gone, she tossed that to the wind and started interacting more with the descended in a healing capacity. And that's where she meets our male main character uh, when she's working as a healer in the palace. And ugh, there's so much to the story, but at its bones, there's unrest between the mortals and the descended. There are like, there's a rebellion group in the mortals called the Guardians. Don't know why I can remember their group's name, but I, I really liked it. I really liked it. It's an adult fantasy series, not YA or like new adult. It is an adult fantasy series and I don't know what to do now. Maybe I'll read Beartown, <laughs> but all three books were really great. I think the book has like really great found family, great banter, like um, there are tropes in this book that people would like, one of them being enemies to lovers and I think it was done quite well. Sometimes I don't think it's done well. It was a very um slow burn series which I loved. Uh, the first two books are not as long as the third one. Uh, the outrageous thousand pages it was but oh, there were times where I like wanted to throw my kindle down. I have not known peace for like the last two to three days reading this series. But I would do it all again. If you have Kindle Unlimited and you like fantasy, you most definitely should read this series. I really liked both of our like main characters. We only get our female main character, Dima, her point of view. Um, but the characters are great. The people you like, you like. The people you hate, you really hate. Um, so I think like the characters are are written well. Really wish they had different covers for the books. I mean, I just have it on Kindle Unlimited, so it doesn't matter, but I do think they could have some cuter covers. But I 
we'll be waiting come July 31st or whatever day it is that it comes out. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'll pick up next. Because I don't know if I can go into Beartown after being as devastated as I was by this series. And then like the Poppy War. Like these are the books I planned on reading. I don't know if I can at this moment. And I don't even have any like really good like rom com -y books to read on Kindle Unlimited. Like there are some really good rom com -y books to read on Kindle Unlimited, but I have read them already. I swear Kindle Unlimited adds like every book I physically own. <laughs> I could do Alone with You in the Ether. I'll get back to you guys but I don't know why I didn't like pause in between these books I was just so enamored by them um so I just give you my overall thoughts but very very good I don't I don't think any of them are like five stars but like 4.5 4.75 like very good I I definitely definitely recommend. Please read these. I don't think you'll regret it. I am 42% into this. It's gone by pretty quickly. It's a much shorter book than the ones I've been reading. And I'm nervous. Which I knew this would happen because this is a long series of books, but like, things are so nice. Things are nice right now. And I'm only 42% into this book. I don't really know a lot about this series, even though it's talked about like a ton. Normally when I see stuff about this, I try really hard not to focus on the names. But also, I expected this book to be dual point of view. It's not. <laughs> um, but in terms of like this series, I don't know when other siblings come in or what that looks like. <sighs> so I have concerns of going through this roller coaster that I know it will be. But it's also kind of hard because. I don't have like super strong feelings. I don't like really like this book or really dislike this book. I'm just like contently entertained, I guess. But it is really hard to go to like a normal romance book after reading like three books in a fantasy series where like this happens and now they go on this mission and they're in like this other location where the world is not the world, but like things are different and and you're just learning and there's action frequently to then like a more mundane romance and this isn't even like super mundane like both of the main characters come from like super rich wealthy like Forbes 100 families but it's very it's just very different than what I was reading the pacing very different the content's very different but I'm glad I'm finally getting to this. I don't think I would have picked this book up if it wasn't on Kindle Unlimited, so it's the perfect book to read right now. And like I said, I'm flying through it really quickly, but I'm nervous for what is to come. Addicted to you, and it was fine. It wasn't anything super crazy for me. It's not like a romance that I hear the description of, and I'm like, that's up my alley. It's something that's I wouldn't really typically go for, but it is like an OG 
and it being on Kindle Unlimited was like the perfect opportunity for me to read it. And I'm glad I did. And I could see myself reading them, but not right now. I'm not like super compelled to read book two right now. Also, because I know with like a series like this, I know there's like so much I'm gonna have to go through and I'm just like not ready to go through their stuff. But it was kind of cool to hear so much about this series and like hear the names of certain characters and start to see them. Like um, in book one, they meet the character Connor Cobalt, Colbert, something like that. And I was like, I have heard that name before. I know that this will be an important character at some point. So it was kind of fun to see in that sense of things. And I liked the characters. They're interesting. Um, but I'm not like super, super sold on it. I don't know. It was like a three star. I was entertained. I read it like super quickly. I read it in like one, one night, one evening. And I, I checked it off the list. It's kind of talked about like an iconic series. So I'm glad I was able to experience some of it. Even if I'm not going to continue with it at this moment. But it does mean I have to figure out what I'm going to read next. It was a good palette cleanser too because the Spark the Everflame series was so intense. I was really struggling to find a good like romance on Kindle Unlimited because a lot of the romances they have or the ones that were getting recommended were ones I like already own and have read like a lot of Abby Jimenez books been through that done been there done that so this was the best I had for the moment and it did the trick but I don't have a lot of thoughts I'm pretty head empty about the whole thing It's Friday the 19th, so it has officially been my week of reading Kindle Unlimited, and my Kindle Unlimited has unfortunately ended. So it's time to do a wrap up of what I actually got done, because it was not what I was planning to read at all. Like, at all. So I started off, and the first book I read was good bad girl by alice feeney and i liked this book thank goodness the last alice feeney book i read i did not enjoy i did not enjoy the way things went but i really liked this one i liked how things intertwined i saw some things like right before we got there but i don't think that made it bad um, I ended up really enjoying the book. I read it in like one evening. I read it Friday night, last Friday, when I started this. And I really liked it. I gave it four stars. It's one of her books that I've enjoyed the most. And sometimes, I found that sometimes her books give me a kind of icky feeling. And this one did not give me an icky feeling. So that was great for me. I, I liked the plot, I liked the characters, I really enjoyed this one, so great for me. Then I moved on and I randomly decided to read Spark of the Everflame because I had seen this book a lot on social media and I did have it saved to my Kindle prior to starting this video. I didn't think I would make it to that series, I was planning on reading Poppy War instead, but I just decided to read this one. I loved it. I was like engrossed in this series, and it's been a while since I felt like really into a series. I love like the found family, like the characters in it. I thought it was so good. I liked the character development, like why they made the decisions they made made sense to me, the reader. <sighs> 
I was really invested in this series. I try to think of like what to compare it to. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I read, I read them very quickly, especially considering how many pages were in this series. But over the weekend, I had had such like a busy week prior that I spent a lot of the read, a lot of the weekend just like reading and relaxing. So I ended up getting through all three books by like Monday or something like that. And uh, it like was not my plan to read the entire series, but I read book one and it didn't like quite end on like a cliffhanger, but it ended with you like learning something and I was like, I gotta go to book two. And then the same thing kind of happened with that. So I, I made it through the whole series. Like I, I could not put it down. I did not want to put it down. I wanted to know what was happening. And I really loved both main characters. I thought the main male character was really great. I'm trying to like think of like who who to compare him to, but he was like one of the best like male main characters I've read in a while. Cause I was thinking about it. Like last year, last year I read so many great books. Cause it was like my first like full year getting really back into reading. So I read like all of the like Holy Grail series. Um, so this year I've been like struggling a little more because I read so many great ones last year and I haven't had many like male main characters where I'm like he is amazing he's top notch and I feel like the male main character in this series really did that Luther not super loving the name but the character 10 out of 10 but I think one of the things I liked about this book the most was really like the found family. If that's like a trope you love, I think you'd really enjoy the series. Um, I thought the magic was super cool. It is an adult series. I'm trying to think of like if it super reads like an adult series or if it feels like a more YA like new adult book. I don't think I would read it and be like, oh, this is for sure adult, um, at least based off of the first one, because it is very slow burn in terms of the romance, but I am so glad I read this book series. I actually um, bought book one and like sent it to someone I know because I thought she would love it too. So definitely, definitely recommend that book series. And oh God, what did I read next? Oh, I read, I read Addicted to You, which is also not on my, like, bingo card for this video or this year, really. Um, I had downloaded it once on Kindle Unlimited and then never read it and returned it. But after reading, like, 2,000 pages, I read Addicted to You, which was not on my bingo card for this video or even this year because I had downloaded it once on Kindle Unlimited and ended up returning it a little bit later because I just never picked it up. But after reading like 2,000 pages of like Spark the Everflame series, I <laughs> wanted like a romance. I was almost going to say light romance, but Addicted to You deals with people with strong addictions. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so I decided to give it a chance because it is kind of like one of the OG book talk books. And I figured I would never read this any other way than it being on Kindle Unlimited. So I did and I read it and I gave it three stars. It was good. I was entertained. I want to know like what happens to them but I didn't continue the series right now. I downloaded book two and I read like two pages and I was just like, I've had enough of them for right now. I do, I do, I do wanna know though. I wanna know. I liked them. Just not enough to keep going right now. I didn't feel the need to binge it. So then I was pretty lost after that. I was still like a little burnt out after like Spark the Everflame, which I didn't say. I gave all those books between like four and like 4.75. I don't, I didn't give any of them five star. I don't know. I'm being really picky this year, but great series. 
But after that, I read, I read Percy Jackson. I read the third book, which was The Titan's Curse. And Percy Jackson, I think, was the right call because those books are just like kind of cutie. They're just like kind of cutie. I never read those books growing up. And I read book one and two before the series came out on Disney Plus late last year and I never like continued with the rest of the series so I picked up book three and I was having you know just a good time just a good time honestly Rick the author he's pretty funny I like chuckle to myself like the sense of humor in the books I like it is like very it is a very like YA book series I can still enjoy it, but it is still, like, very, very YA. I would say more so than, like, um, Harry Potter. I think Harry Potter can be a little bit more all ages. Like, I don't think, like, um, a 50-year-old woman is going to pick up Percy Jackson and enjoy it the same way she could with Harry Potter. Not to say one is better or worse than the other, but, um, it is just a little more, a little more YA. It's supposed to be. The Titan's Curse was kind of like exactly what I needed at that point. I'd been reading a lot and just reading a lot and still overwhelmed by how much I read in the Spark of the Upper Flame series. And The Titan's Curse, it was just cutie. It's, I think it's my favorite book in the series so far. I haven't read the fifth and final of like the original series yet but the premise of it I enjoyed and I liked the new characters that were introduced in it I thought it was really great I actually I shed a tear reading that one I shed a tear but one of the things I really liked is you kind of see like the development of the relationships that Percy Jackson has and it was it was cutie I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times, um, because in this book, I don't think it's a spoiler because it's on the description of this book, uh, Annabeth is like missing or like kidnapped and Percy is like, he's like, I, I gotta find Annabeth. I don't care what else is going on, I gotta find Annabeth and I don't want to think too much about it. <laughs> and I just loved it. I loved the direction that things went in. It was a good mix of serious and lightheartedness. I feel like in this series, some of the like really serious things to me like don't always hit as hard as they should. I don't know. Things don't always feel like as dire as they should be, if that makes sense. And then. The final book I read was book four in the Percy Jackson series, which was something the labyrinth. What was it? Per uh, the Battle of the Labyrinth. It is leading up to the finale of the original series. And such a cool premise again. The scenes in the labyrinth were so cool and it was nice to see things kind of like tie together from the last book and characters we met in that and see the role they're playing now in this book and the rest of the series. A lot. A lot happened in that book. I thought I guessed something and I was slightly off the mark. Um, that book was also a bit more serious than some of the others, but but over, overall, it was a good book. I really liked that one too. I, the book three and book four have been like my favorites in the Percy Jackson series. I liked them more than book one and book two in the series. Um, also, that one was a little bit sad. There was like a kind of sad part uh, towards the end. Uh, but I, I really like, like, the cast of characters we have at this point. I didn't, I didn't get through book five, though, before the end of 
this week, unfortunately. I think I'll take a bit of a breather before I finish that out and start the new iteration of the Percy Jackson series, but I read, read a lot of fantasy. I read a lot of fantasy this week. I read five fantasy books, one romance, and one thriller. It was seven books total, which is honestly a good amount. Nothing to be mad about, but I didn't read like any, any of the books I thought I was going to read. I thought I was going to read The Poppy War, Alone With You in the Ether, Bear Town, and Bear Town, let me tell you, I did, so I finished, uh, book four in Percy Jackson, I already forgot the name of it, Battle of the Labyrinth, something like that, and I finished that last night, so Thursday night, and I tried reading the first few pages of Bear Town, and it's so hard. Because although I love Frederick Bachman, I've only I've only ever read um, Anxious People by him, and I really liked it. I think his sense of humor is super funny, and I already saw that again in like the few pages I read of Bear Town. But I just know it's gonna be sad. I know it's gonna be a lot. So I wasn't I wasn't ready for it. And I wasn't ready for the Poppy War either, but. Although this didn't go how I thought it would. I'm happy with what I read. I'm happy, I'm really happy I started Addicted to You. Because again, I really don't think there's another world in which I would have started that series. I don't think I was going to buy all those books. Um, but I'm glad to have started it and to have seen what some of the fuss is about. I don't know if and when I'll continue it. But at least I have that one under my belt, you know what I mean? But... That's all for now. I don't know when I'll resume Kindle Unlimited because Kindle Unlimited is great. I would definitely recommend Kindle Unlimited. The problem for me is that number one, I have so many books on my Kindle. Like every day and every week, Amazon puts like a decent amount of books on sale for like $5 or less. So I just like over time collect any book that I've been interested in that like pops up on that like discount kindle deal page so i probably have like 20 to 30 books like that on my kindle at this exact moment so i should be reading those or my physical copy books and once i make a bigger dent in that i'll probably resume my kindle unlimited and the other thing is kindle unlimited has a lot of great books but a lot of them i've read like the One Dark Window series. I bought those on my Kindle and now they're on Kindle Unlimited. Um, Boys of Tommen, same thing. So many books that I love are on there. So I would recommend it. But it's time for us to part ways for now. I'll still be, still be using this bad boy. But that's all for now.